So in our example, we're doing 3 times 10 to the 5, and we're multiplying it with 2.5 times 10 to the 7. Now, the way you deal with powers, remember, is you can add them together. So let's start by doing that. What's 5 plus 7? Well, it's 12, so our new number will have 10 to the 12, and then we multiply the first numbers together. So what's 3 times 2.5? Well, that's 7.5. Reinsert that times and double check that you have a standard form answer, which we do. It is a number between 1 and less than 10. So it's 7.5 times 10 to the 12. Because that was so quick to do, we're going to take another example, which is multiply 1.2 times 10 to the 10 and 5 times 10 to the 7. Let's sort out the powers first of all, so we just add together those indices to become 10 to the 17. Next up we do 1.2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10. 1 times 5 is 5, plus 1 is 6. And then reinsert that decimal point so it becomes 6. So 6.0 times 10 to the 17 is our answer here. Now we're going to be dividing numbers in standard form, which is luckily as simple as what we've just been doing with multiplying. So in this first question, we're going to be working out 4 times 10 to the 8 divided by 5 times 10 to the 2. So let's sort out those powers first of all, because they're indices and you're dividing them. You simply have to take 2 away from 8 to get your new power, which is 6. And then we do 4 divided by 5. So I'm going to insert a decimal place. 5's into 40 go 8, so it becomes 0 0.8. However, we've got an issue. 0 0.8 is not a standard form number because it doesn't lie between 1 and less than 10. So we're going to move that decimal point to become 8. And therefore, we have to do times 10 to the 5 to account for the fact we've made that first number 10 times bigger. In the second example, we're working out 4 times 10 to the 10, and we're going to divide that by 8 times 10 to the 7. So let's sort out the powers first of all. We're going to take away 7 from 10 to get 10 to the 3. Then we have to do a straight 4 divided by 8, which cancels down to a half. Half is 0 0.5 as a decimal, so it becomes 0 0.5 times 10 to the 3. 0 0.5 is not big enough. It doesn't count as a number placed in standard form, so we have to multiply it by 10, so it becomes 5 times 10 to the 2 to account for the fact we've moved that decimal point along. I hope you found this video helpful, guys. Please give it a like and sub if you haven't already, and I'll be back soon. Bye!